Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. We started a series last week, and the series was called A Day Without Prayer is a Day Without Power. That was chapter one. And we talked a little bit about all the things that we can do to try our very best to show ourselves a way to pray, but not to allow ourselves to assume that if we don't pray, we have failed. You see, today's episode is chapter two and the day in life of how we as people should pray. There is no right or wrong way but we're going to talk about it right now. Have faith, let it begin. Monday edition and Dianelli is back. Let's go. It starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No. No? Okay. It's the boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Okay, oh, oh, amazing. Just Noah. Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. We are here with Dr. Tommy Nelly, and uh, it's another great episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. And we're doing chapter two. A day without prayer is a day without power. Dr. E, how are you doing, buddy? God bless you, Angel. Happy Monday. It's such a pleasure. Hello, friends. Have faith. Let it begin. What you all up to? What you all doing? How are you all doing? And I tell you, uh, the one thing about this whole process, uh, E, is that we are going to really dive into um, the whole process. Uh, aspect of prayer a lot of people think that you have to be have a formal way of praying and i wanted to take this chapter two on this subject on a different uh, different path and i want to start like this many of us assume that there is a formal way of praying a lot of people assume that you when you pray to god you have to sit down you have to get on your knees you have to do this you have to start no there is no formal way We really have to do our very best to just be ourselves. And how do we be ourselves? By just talking to him on an ordinary basis, by just saying to him, hey, God, I know you're listening. I know you're there. What can we do to talk about it and building a relationship? What do you think, E? Couldn't ask for more. I I really love this because um, everyone talks to God in their own way. And I remember, um, you know, when my mom you know, um, you know, really went from an agnostic to a Christian and she took it like she, when she, when that Holy Spirit hit her, man, he hit her hard. And um, I remember being in people's houses and, um, you know, people who may not have, uh, you know, said thank you to God before they ate or before they broke bread. Um, She would always, uh, you know, kind of push me uh, into trying to say something. And I, I think that many people, traditionally we'll do a a lord we ask you this we ask for your blessing we ask you we give you thanks for this food and i never did that that was not my style i would start with a story or talk about um, an experience or talk about how god um, you know spoke to me that particular day or if there was a special meal if it was associated with christmas I might tell the story of my Charlie Brown Christmas tree and the significance of the meaning of Christmas or whatever. And that was my way of praying. And when I was a kid, you know, a baby, baby, like, like, you know, my first remembrances of being less than five years old and doing that whole, um, you know, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord, my soul to keep. Yeah. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. What a terrible prayer that is, by the way. <laughs> um, you know, if you think about it. A little scary. Um, t- totally. And I'm thinking, why did they teach us that in the 1960s? It's terrible. <laughs> um, you know, but I evolved from that into a different right. type of uh, prayer. But I think everyone out there in our audience, everyone out there in Half Faith Let It Begin, first of all, if they're on this podcast, 
they have a belief system. It may not be yours. It may not be mine, but they have a belief system. They have a faith because they wouldn't be here. They would be on a different site. They would be on, you know, on-site poker or on-site porn, or they'll be somewhere, but they're not going to be here. Everybody on this podcast, everyone listening has that faith, has that belief, has that love in their heart, and everyone should pray differently. Angel, I would ask you to ask our listeners, your listeners, you know, to write to you or write to us and tell us how they pray. I would love to hear that. And I think that's a, a very, very wise decision and and, and great um, idea. See, what happens, I think, for my like even for my own self, is that growing up, you know, I, I watched and witnessed so many people do different types of prayers. And I used to say to myself, I don't think I'm going to be worthy enough to be able to pray right to God. You know, I almost treated it like a phone call. I felt like if I didn't speak the correct way, maybe the call wouldn't go through. Right. But what I realized is you don't need to place a collect call to God. You don't need to have a certain amount of change. A, a call to him can happen very simply put. You can be in your car. You can be in your bathroom. You can be anywhere. And it's just the way you want to speak to him. You can cry to him. You can yell to him. You can shout to him. Guess what? It doesn't matter. What matters is building the relationship and allowing yourself the opportunity to know that he is listening and that he is going to hear you no matter where and what time of the day. That was so, I don't even know if you know how beautifully said that was. And I'm going to um, give you a teaser that maybe we could do next Monday. I think one of the things that's so special about a non-denominational belief system, as opposed to a very strict and rigid system of belief or religion um, is that necessity to have an intermediary uh, to help you communicate with God when indeed um, you don't need an intermediary. It's almost like when Home Depot came up and you didn't really need, um, you know, a contractor to screw in a light bulb. You figured it out, the whole do it yourself. You take out the middleman. And, and I'd like to do that next Monday um, about um, taking out the middleman in your relationship with God. Absolutely. And I, you know what? I'm going to give you car blanche. You can run the whole show. I'll be um, your formal guest for uh, next week. We'll, we'll also, can I also, can I also hijack your 78,000 listeners to the of course. podcast? Of course. You know, you, you know, that. listen, we're family. You can have my, my listeners are your listeners. <laughs> Folks, that is today's episode of Half Faith. Let it begin. We'd like to thank Dr. E as always for joining us on Mondays. And uh, we're going to end this way. When you pray to God, there's never been ever, ever, and I'm saying this again, there has never truly been a right or wrong way to speak to him. What is the right way is to try to build a relationship. You know what the wrong way is? Ignoring the fact that he will not be there for you because he is. He has been there for you since the day you were created in his image from the day you came out and you screamed out for the first time. And when the doctor yelled out, it's a boy, it's a girl, or maybe put him back in It needs to cook a little longer. That's what happened with me, but that's not the point. What I'm saying is God is with you. God believes in you. God trusts you. And God's never going to leave your side. We've said that a thousand times. So I'm saying this to you finally with the final thought. When you speak to God, introduce yourself, even though he already knows what you're going to say, because the minute you start to speak, he cannot wait to meet you. And he is so happy that you have reached out to him on behalf of all of us here at Half Faith. Let it begin. God bless you. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth and never forget. Have faith. Let it begin. Happy 30th birthday, Tommy. Be well, All God right. bless. Yes, definitely. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts. Because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day. Right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. 
and we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>